Earth is long gone, nothing more than a distant memory. Humanity wars for resources scattered among the stars on enormous seed ships like the Prophet of Gaia, terraforming planets for its progeny. But as the planet side team 6s descended towards Taxion 8, the Prophet was struck down, rent in two by an enormous black meteor. With a flash of green light, life on the planet was forever changed. Last week. We did nothing. The week before that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the team had to fight for the lives in the midst of a horde of new Gaians that were infested by the strange black substance that they have now all come to fear. After many close calls that would have certainly resulted in death, the team just barely managed to scrape by and claim their prize. A down part of the Prophet's armory. After tending to their wounds and once again experimenting with psychedelic mushrooms, <laughs> uh, the team calls the rest of the group to join them, possibly making this structure their new base. But there's a lot of work to do before they can call this place home, if they were ever feel at home again. So, that's where you are, guys. Uh, you all went to sleep. And you are, at this point, waking up. Except Max, right? Max was awake. Yeah, Max he's, was on yeah, watch. He was on watch. Um, he took a small nap, went on watch while you guys were all uh, conked out. And so he's he's doing his bit now. So, uh, <laughs> it's up to you guys. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and say Milo is going to sleep in for a while <laughs> uh, but uh I, I i would say it, let's just go ahead and have everybody <laughs> roll me a uh a d4 d4 um, uh, do we recover any wounds from resting um how many wounds do you guys currently have i have Ooh. six you have six i have six <clears throat> I have zero. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, did we get any advancement points from us? Uh, I gave you guys some. Yeah. Oh, did we talk about it? Okay. Yeah. 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 Unless, unless you do it in the end. What's up? No, you might, you might have to roll for me because I can't get roll 20 to load. No, oh, okay. Oh, you're getting a GM roll. Don't botch it. If it's a four. It's a four. So... <laughs> um, morning time as the sun just slowly beats its way in as the sun rises and the light reaches the edge of you you start to feel warm in your feet and you open your eyes and looking directly into your eyes inside of this dome bubble is Sly and looking back into your eyes Sly is Annika <laughs> it is very awkward so wait do I open my eyes and I see him looking directly at me? You open, you both open your eyes like at the same time, with the warmth of the sun beating on your feet. Oh, like we're sleeping next to each other. And you're sleeping next to each other, and you just open your eyes and you see each other's eyes. Oh, what a cute scene! I I mask. sit up very quickly. Wait, mask off. Mask off. Yeah, from mask off. Gone. Mask off, man. Wait, are we? We're inside a bubble. You're inside a bubble. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so mask off. Oh. Yeah. Why does so, that matter? <laughs> what did you? Because he's an ugly son of a fuck. Well, right, I want to know if you can actually see me or. Yeah, I just I I like I kind of like blink and, you know, look at him. And then I sit up very slowly. <laughs> yeah. Just kind of give you a look of like oh. <laughs> Yeah, so Max walks in and so, enters the bubble, and he's like, Morning, lovebirds. Well, did we wake up at the exact same time, or was, like, oh, one of us same time. the other one? No, okay. no, no, you woke up at the exact same time. <laughs> I just, you, I but, have this impression, but though, like, both I don't of your, know how long from both he's of your perspectives, <laughs> From both of your perspectives, you think that he's been staring at you, and she's been staring at you for, who knows, because you both <laughs> yeah. opened your eyes, and there were eyes there. <laughs> and you were just yeah, like... So so I, I sit up very slowly, and I'm like... Yeah, but Max okay. walks in and says, Morning, lovebirds. Cook you too, Max. He's like, okay. <laughs> Did you find anything interesting in your watch? 
Um, no, nothing super interesting. Uh, I've been checking up on this hole here, and uh, it seems like it's getting smaller. The whole oh the pile of yeah the crap. the the black goopy eats my arm shit. Yeah. Okay. So it's digesting, I assume. We probably, we should work on clearing this place out, uh, clearing the bodies, maybe giving our crewmates some kind of more dignified uh, rest. My thoughts exactly, says Caldwell from behind you, fiddling with his robot. I think it would be a any very I good idea for you guys to clear that out. Manual labor is a strong suit. Sure, any ideas how to do it without uh, getting ourselves infected? Uh, maybe you could just stare at it. Well, they seem to react negatively to fire, correct? <laughs> I just... <laughs> I, <laughs> I just look at Sly. <laughs> like, does he think staring at things, like, fixes things? <laughs> Not getting that that was a dig. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so Calm was like, they don't seem to react well to fire. That is my best bet on how well, to... Well, yeah, but... Them. Neither do we, to be fair, so... Oh, yes. Then, I feel uh, like I had a vision that I tried to set it on fire one time and it blew everything up, so... Yes, it would probably be I a very bad vision. idea to just chuck fire into a um, piece of a ship that has landed. You don't know how what kind of radioactive materials, gas leaks, anything might exist on there. I was exactly. saying, why don't we do a contained fire? Meaning, <clears throat> lay a bubble on top of it and set a flame inside. That would work. We wouldn't let the fire out. Well, I will say that the amount of oxygen within the room that is created inside of the bubble would burn up quickly. And so well, the fire should care. douse itself before it causes enough damage to completely destroy the bubble itself. That said, I don't know exactly how the black material would react to flames. We know that they don't like it, but I've never seen one burn. Potentially, the flame itself would become more powerful enough to break it, and then, again, exploding ships, death, carnage, all that nonsense. So... Uh, does anybody here... Where is the mechanic dude that we rescued? Does he know how to, like, maybe detach the bottom hole somehow, or I don't close believe it there's off any way to detach it lower. Than it currently is closing it off wouldn't be that big a deal but i'm worried about what happens when that thing finishes digesting well no i'm saying i mean the ship's metal can we put the fire close it off seal in the oxygen leo is now awake he just hears all the chatter and wakes up what i miss is i like sit up we're gonna burn some bodies you want to come? Probably a good idea. Yeah. To... Let's uh, let's let's just let's toss a bubble down there. Let's do it. And just go for it. I, I run no calculations. This was a top of. This is just a, a guess that this would work well. Oh, okay. Well, would you like to run the calculations? I mean, possibly. <laughs> then uh, then do that. Have any other educated guess? Because. Uh... Well, I mean, That's I'm good. not the person who's supposed to be coming up with all of the ideas here. You're the scientist. Well, I came up with one. As you, as you recently stated, we are the manual labor. So. Fantastic. Fine. Give me some time. <laughs> I will crunch the numbers. In the meantime, set a bubble up just in case so we can try to contain it. There was a... There was a specific button you can push. Leo, I'm sure you know what to do. That will encapsulate from the inside like a prison yes do i have to be inside it to press the button no you press the button remember. you toss the bubble ah good i didn't want to be stuck inside with that stuff yes no that would be absolutely horrifying and you would probably die we'd have more food but you would be dead so <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah yeah um, so, so, uh, if you guys want to put in a bubble, fantastic. I will crunch the numbers and possibly work with Miss Sylvia when she wakes up to find out exactly how this stuff seems to react to fire. Have we gotten a sample of it yet? 
No, yet. I mean, don't we know it just tries to run away from fire? So couldn't it just theoretically run away from well, the Well, she didn't get to study her last one, remember? We, the, the door yeah, the thing. Yeah. 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 So yeah. it might be good for us to try and get a portion of it prior to, you know, sealing it away. Well, sealing it is a good idea for now anyways, just in case it fully digests and some other crazy monstrosity of bullshit destruction comes out and tries to eat us all. Let's just um, all right. put it inside of a locked bubble. That would be fantastic. Yeah, and, on uh, it. Yes, so do that. Um, yeah, just make me a dexterity check. If you have if you have thrown weapons, do that. If not, just do Wait, do we... Roll. Or not dexterity. Um, it's not dexterity, it's agility, but yeah. We Sorry. still have we still have that uh in like very strong camo fabric. Yeah, you got the um the red alien fabric that you guys have been holding on to and used to create some okay. sort of camouflage or Over invis- tent, temporary yeah. invisibility. It's basically the same as your armor. Just yeah, agility. They brought, they brought fabric from the old camp. Uh, yeah, yeah. They, was, they, was they, they brought they brought everything with them whenever okay. they came. Um, have we tested its flammability? Uh, who are you asking this? Because he's he's running. No, he's no, crunching Cold numbers. Well. Cut, yeah. Okay. Cold well, we tested the flammability of the uh, fabric. Like, will it maintain flame? No, I have not thought that that was a good idea to set our camouflage on fire. Well, is it a cloth or is it a metal? It's hard to say. Honestly, uh, as far as I've seen, it reacts like no material I've ever seen before. Much like the mushrooms you guys have been consuming, like children eating candy. Almost like... It's unlike anything we've ever seen. Very interesting, very unusual, very new. Um, but, uh, I honestly can't say what it's made of. I can't tell if it's metallic, if it's flammable, if it's anything. Hmm. Sorry. I've been distracted trying to get this robot up and working for the past several days. And how far are you on that? I'm close, but let's deal with one problem at a time. I think the bodies take priority. Yeah. I believe so as well. Threatening. Why do you ask about this flammability of the um, fabric that we found? Well, we don't know if the bubble will contain it, but once it gets small enough, we could always just put the fabric over it and then light a fire underneath the fabric. If the fabric doesn't itself, like if it's something that can maintain heat more Mm -hmm. than the metal ship, I guess, or whatever, though. Yeah. Yeah. we're afraid of. Uh, yeah, Leo, you, you check it down, and it lands pretty much in the center. You could definitely tell that there's a little bit of, like, the black ooze sort of leaking around the sides, but for the most part, it looks like it's contained. And you can see, like, the little bits of black ooze trying to climb their way back into the bubble, but they can't get in. I think I separated a sample, guys. Oh. Was the button is up? Uh, you see Caldwell, he's sitting there running calculations, and he just takes, like, what what looks kind of like a wrench, but like smaller and a little bit weird because it doesn't do wrench things. And he just chucks it right over at Sylvia, <laughs> and Sylvia and Sylvia just goes, ah, "Why? Why? Why? What? Sylvia, get a sample. Okay." And she gets up, and uh, and she's like, "What are we sampling?" Uh, the the ooze at the bottom. All right, so the botanist is like, all right, so what do you guys think is the best way to do this? Because that's a really long way down, and I don't think there's a safe way to get down there without jumping, and uh, the jumping would looks like falling into death. So, did we not find like a stairwell or something last week? Sly, when you were searching. Um. Yeah, no, the stairwell was in the back of the uh, armory, not the hole. I mean, you can tell me what I need to do, and I can nimbly get down there. (laughs) 
I nimbly are, do this. Are you, <laughs> are you sure you want to get that close to that stuff? Uh, I mean, no, but I feel like at this moment I'm the only one. No, Max, fuck it, you're going. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, how no, about, he has, just, how he has about just as <laughs> You take one of those grenades and kindly stick it up your fucking ass. <laughs> Max uh, is you, right. you have a problem with black goo, Max? <laughs> He takes his <laughs> giant prosthetic arm and gives you the biggest motherfucking middle finger you have ever seen. Man, what's that boyish charm? Alright. I mean, I can't well, disagree with him. My boyish no. charm was in my arm. <laughs> and then it got amputated. Because of? <laughs> because of some unfortunate circumstances. For sure. <laughs> For sure, bad circumstances. Um, well, <laughs> wow. I just, I just want to like, you know what? Fucking, fucking PowerPoint to you, just for being so Shameless. sly that you would ask the guy who lost a fucking arm to black shit to just fucking because go down you. there because of you. Because of you. Like, you know what, Max, you do it. Yeah, fucking PowerPoint, bro. You earned that shit. So uh, that's a that's a big no from you, Max. Right? That's a... He just leaves. He's gone. <laughs> All right. Um, All right, botanist chick. Tell me what. Tell me what I need to. Do. Um. Well, uh, generally, you just need to entice the black stuff. Seems to react to movement, things that seem to be alive, but doesn't necessarily seem need them to be have a heartbeat. Um, so maybe just like extend something to it, get it to react to it, cling to it, and then you pull it up and you keep it subdued with heat and flames. Does that make like sense? But how do I capture it? <laughs> um, put it in a bottle. You have a bottle for me? Yeah, I got like fifty. <laughs> <laughs> like how that's like how do right. I capture it? Well you said subdue it, do I scrape it into the bottle? Like what do you mean? When it's just sitting there in a puddle, do you have some way to extract yeah, you it? Just keep or... it from attacking you with the flames, keep it at bay, and then you like capturing a spider on a wall or something. Weren't you like specially trained to subdue and Yeah, living things or I would dare Think say that whatever's down there is alive. It's living, yeah. Not goo things. Yeah, I'm pretty sure your entire <laughs> purpose for being here is to protect us, us from living things, to subdue them. Yeah, things. from not goo things, but yeah. Okay, uh, so I'll just make sure that we, if we ever, ever get back on any sort of civilized human ship, um, that we make sure to put in your file, doesn't do goo. To be fair, that. his specialty is killing things, not saving them. That is also true. All right. Well, I think it's <laughs> it's, it's it's best if you want to go ahead and, and try and do it yourself. Um, um, to just go ahead and just go with your instinct. I think that's done very well for us mm -hmm. so far. Oh, totally, Annika. Yeah, give me. Your, do you still have the yeah. torch? Uh, I think I do still have the torch. Bear, I don't remember giving it Bear in mind, so. she did just wake up, and then everybody was like, immediately, go get this black goo that's in a pit. And so, yeah, it's a little cranky. So? Uh, Sly, you <laughs> might want to keep a, a blade ready as well, you know, in case of emergency amputation is needed. Uh, I got my thermal blade. Uh, um, I, I yeah, hand you the, the torch. Okay, thing. so I got the little blow torch thing. Yeah. All right. Um... So I'm going to jump down nimbly. Good luck, sunshine. <laughs> and agilely, like a cat. Almost feather-like. Almost. All right, roll, bro. I mean, dust in the wind. I feel like just because you say I do it nimbly. And <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he is. You know. I'm gonna do it not nimbly. 
I'm gonna do it like <laughs> I'm gonna belly flop into the hole. It's true. You could you could say that. Yeah. So eleven. Okay. Yeah. You actually managed to uh to you you don't just jump down nimbly um directly onto the bubble that's sitting there. Instead you grab the edge and swing yourself across past the end of the landing so that you don't land straight through because where a stuff cannot exit it can enter. Yeah. Yeah. If so... you know what you're doing, you can enter at any time. So, uh, that would have been bad. Uh, so, anyways, <laughs> yeah, you so swing yourself I, around. I'm, I'm nimbly on the ground, or am I on top of the bubble? <laughs> <laughs> I believe at this point I'm also, like, laying down, you're peering over the edge, watching you what are, he's doing. You, like... are, you are nimbly on the ground. <laughs> Nimbly on the ground. Okay, so where's the goo? In, <laughs> it's in, trying in to like... get in, but it can't figure out how to do it. Yeah, um, is it like directly in front of me, to the right of me, left of me? Like how close am I? There's a big dome, and it's along the edges of the dome. Oh, just all, everywhere. All around it. That's a lot of goo, bro. I didn't sign up for this shit. You literally signed up for I this thought, shit. I, th <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was like a section of goo that was like, you know, like an arm section of goo that was like, no, I'm trying to get back in. Not like a whole... Yep. It's like it's you had little, problems down there. Play a little goo. No, I'm good, man. I'm good. You I'm good. Life. enjoying this. It's the best thing. Um, okay, so... It's the best <laughs> thing. The best <laughs> After that, look over at like everyone uh, else. I'm like, I think he's having a problem down there. So I uh, strategically nimbly grab a arrow. <laughs> everything, Shaka, we're just gonna assume from now on. Everything you do is nimbly. He's gonna be like, I hit a tree. Nimbly. nimbly. You know nimbly. what? You know what? Here's, here's your nose. Roll, roll a thumb. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go with zap attack. Um, <laughs> Every time you say nimbly, your character does fucking jazz hands, okay? <laughs> so I nimbly grab my bow. Almost looks like I'm quivering, but I'm very confident. <laughs> you you drop the bow because of the jazz hands. So <laughs> because of the jazz hands, I can't, I can't grab it. Jesus, um, fuck. Today is terrible. <laughs> Today's hilarious. Sorry. <laughs> so I, uh, I grab my bow, and I shoot... <laughs> A distance away from like a, you know, an area of the goo, and the arrow nimbly lands, <laughs> like an about face point turn. Ten feet away, five feet away from a section of the goo, or like you know the circle of goo, but about five feet away. Because I'm trying to get a portion of it to go out to the arrow. Because okay. it moved. So you're just trying to entice it onto the arrow? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright, uh, just roll me a... Um, <clears throat> I'm going to let you combine two attributes. Do intelligence and agility. Oh, cut, oh, cut, oh, cut. Woo! Fifteen. Yeah, so you actually... Um, inch the uh arrow like just slightly into the range of the stuff until it's climbing at the wall climbing at the wall climbing the wall and then you see a small bit that gets distracted and strings up towards your arrow and then as the arrow gets closer the whole section wraps around and starts spiraling up of it um but you manage to at that point pull out your blowtorch and keep it at a distance you have it on your arrow right now all right so, I'm um, guessing you know, another arrow's in my hand, you're saying? Yeah, the arrow's... You, you, I mean, like, honestly, I got distracted by awesomeness. And uh, don't remember your exact explanation. I figured it was something stupid. So, yeah, you put the arrow... Oh, so I, I shot the arrow for my bow. It's not oh. in my hand. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, you're able to pull it up then because they totally grab it. That was a really bad idea. So, I'm going to say, um, yes, you shot the arrow in, but you're able to take the flames. Not and, uh, in it away from it so it attracted 
to the movement of the arrow. Yeah, I got you now. I got you now. I got you. Now. I'm gonna say <laughs> that all worked, and you have the arrow in your hand, and you use the flames to keep it down. <laughs> I'm okay. sorry. I'm right. sorry. Today has been very stressful, <laughs> and alcohol right. is my only solace. So I just want to make sure I have this 100% correct mundo here. Um, I you have. It doesn't matter how you did it. You got. Sand yeah, sand no, but I'm saying like, arrow. so I have one hand here and like one hand's at the, like blowing the torch kind of towards my hand, keeping yeah, it from getting keep it, up to, to my hand. From climbing up your, your arrow to the hand. Okay. Um, well, God damn it. See, this is why I wanted to shoot the arrow first because I don't have the vial out yet or the, the jar. Okay, so I'm just blow torching it and then I'm like, Fucking no. Um, I set the arrow on the ground so I can pull out the vial or the, the bottle, pick the arrow back up, put it, the arrow's head with all the goo in there, and I slowly bring the torch down to make it fall off the arrow and into the jar, and then I nimbly close it. Swift like butterfly. Okay, so the second you say nimbly... Uh, you jazz hands. And everything, I jazz hands it. <laughs> everything falls to the ground and you get eaten by a black goo. Okay, no, just give me a, um, uh, give me a, um, it's just like, specifically, do you have, like, handling of any kind? Like, animal handling? Like, this is basically like animal handling. It's, that's the issue with it, is that there's no real good role for this, because it's not an animal, but it's, it's animal handling. Uh, close enough. I mean, I got melee. No, so just use just use your dexterity modifier and roll. Your dexterity die, and uh, and roll. Agility. That. Yeah, agility. Sorry, guys. I've Double been agility. designing another just... RPG. It's all fucked up. Oh, so oh yeah, just agility. Right? <laughs> yeah. Fuck. That's a three. Um. Just one agility, not agility twice. Okay, because you said nimbly 700 times, I'll let you use agility twice. So roll one more time. Seven. Okay, that beats average difficulty. You successfully get it into the fucking bottle. Without getting eaten by black shit. Sweet. <laughs> Alright, so you... So I look up and I chunk it at Mood Man and say, CATCH! Okay, now roll your throwing <laughs> skill. Just kidding. Because Mood wouldn't catch it and it'd break nah. and then something. No, I'd dodge. <laughs> <laughs> my head hits my head. like, fuck! Shatters on his armor. Just gets fucking eaten. It's like, it's the black hand coming out of the floor all over again! <laughs> just goes on his other arm. I chuck my blade, slices that arm off. <laughs> No, no, it's his fucking, it's his fucking head. You're like, I'll save you. You go up and immediately decapitate Leo. <laughs> we can rebuild him, right? Make him stronger, better, faster. <laughs> stronger. You'll have a robot head. <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> All right. Um. So I, I have it, and um. I I just climb back up, put it on the ground, come back down. I'm like, All right. So do you guys want me to set this thing on fire now, or? What? Caldwell just stops what he's doing, and he turns, he looks, he's like, was the point of this to just... just give it to me? Just... Mm. And he just, like, you can see him... You just, need like, to take a poop, Caldwell. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying really hard not to be angry. Like, you could see it in his face, but he's just... On the it inside. looks like you really need a poop. There was a lavatory down the uh, armory. <laughs> Could I have the bottle, please? I set it up, I set up at the top. It's already a sitting I'll, up I'll there. Pick it up and hand it to him. Thank you. All right, so Caldwell's going to spend a little bit of time uh, doing rolls to figure out exactly if this plan is viable or not. Um, that's going to take him a little bit of time. I won't tell you exactly how much time. Um, so if you want to get up to other shenanigans. Yeah, is there, so there are three levels to the armory. Am I at a bottom level of the armory? So technically the levels above and below are not part of the armory. The, you would assume from the layout of the ship itself that this floor was the armory. 
in this section the floor, of the ship? The floor so we're what, camping on. So yeah. the middle floor that you were on right now was the armory section. And then above and below are two different sections of the ship. But since I'm at the bottom, is this like parallel with the rest of the bottom of the ship? No. Or is this a separate? Um, in fact, you could look around <laughs> in this area as well. It is not technically part of the armory. Would you like to look around and explore that area? Apparently not. What is what is that? Perception, right? Look around. I'm. I. <laughs> I mean, yes, you don't see anything in your immediate area, but you could like walk around. There's just stuff there. <laughs> I wasn't even gonna make you make a perception check. You were mostly gonna just avoid the black goo. Well then, I. Nice and quick feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, today is so great. I love it so much. <laughs> Inch my way all the way on the outside round of the ship. You're just like hugging the wall, just like. Yeah, I'm hugging the wall like a ninja, looking ridiculous while I'm looking around. I feel like I feel like at the the exact same time that <laughs> that uh, a Sly is doing this, he's saying, "I oh, nimbly." Along the wall. Just like he says it to himself step, like, out loud. Nimble. Nimble. No, and I'm playing the Pink Panthers music. I don't know what it is, but I'm, I'm hearing like. Dun -dun -dun -dun. <laughs> That's what it's like. Yeah. Going yeah. back and forth. <laughs> uh, so you make your, you make your way uh, further down the hallway. This is actually part of the ship that's buried um, with, with, like halfway under the earth. And you are edging your way through the darkness like the pink panther nimbly as a ninja and you uh and square and you bump into something hard and metallic and very large oh. is it Milo? <laughs> is it what is it my... <laughs> i said is it milo <laughs> milo just slept down with the big black goo just like <laughs> he's dead no i'm just kidding yeah. All yeah. right. So I clearly stop and and look at what I just kicked or hit or touched. You really can't tell what it is. Oh wait, do you have night vision? Uh, yes. Okay. So you do turn your night vision on. You can uh make out thrusters. Yeah, I do. Have so I make out thrusters. Yeah, you've you've okay. walked into thrusters that are roughly the size of your torso. Okay, are these thrusters, like, they look like it's a part of another ship, yeah, or it's, it's just attached, thrusters? It's from... attached to some sort of vessel. Of other ship? Okay. So, uh, I look at it, and then I follow the, I'm guessing since there's thrusters, there's going to be a wing down? Like... No, as you make your way there, uh, along the edge, you actually find uh, that there is a jutting out area, almost like it's going, like, back in as, like, an X, but instead of being a wing... At the end, you find this giant um, disc-like surface that is very large. It's about five feet across. All right. So I very schoolgirlishly, excitedly giggle, and I... At this point, I will <laughs> give you military knowledge saying that you know what this is. This is called okay. a Gridia. Gridia? Is it a, like... For common, for common folks like you, you call it a crawler. So it's more like a scavenging exploration type medili? Yeah, and it's uh, also got giant lasers on it. For defense? Uh, mostly for burrowing through rock and mining. Okay. Uh, and this is ground or is this air? Because that's thrusters. Um, it, from, from your knowledge, you know that it is a vehicle. Vehicle? Okay. Um... So I nah, I don't want to do that. Do I? I like how mood looks really antsy right now. I know. I was <laughs> my I'm brain like, is well, going. It's sly. I'm like, there's two things that could happen. Yeah, it's my, sly. I'm my brain is going in two different ways right now. One, I just jump in and try to drive it out. <laughs> two, I run in and tell mood, hey, I got a present for you, but I don't really like him. You know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't really like that guy, even though he finished the fight against the giant thing that was going to nuke all of us. 
Hey. <laughs> Again, from what I saw, battle perspective, Annika was the badass doing front flips and shotgunning shit in the chest. Dude, no right? lies, Annika totally fucking trashed. <laughs> she fucking so, trashed all motherfuckers. So in uh, my eyes, I'm just like, ooh. All right. Uh, yeah, no. So That's it, why you were staring at me. You, you, you know, but the staring point is, is that you do know that it is called a Garidia, and you usually call it a crawler. Is what okay. Did I pick up a comms from the armory? Was there a comms in the armory? I forgot. You did not check for com specifically. You asked. Fuck. Me. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, asked for, like ammunition and shit. Okay. So can can they hear me if I yell? Like, I'm still, yeah. Like, there's yeah, you can totally stuff. hear you if you yell. Okay. Yo, free fall. What? I found a garugula. A, a, a garugula. <laughs> that is one yeah, you... garugula. <laughs> Gangsta yeah, you know, has the... greens. <laughs> the thingy that drives with lasers and thingies. Oh, oh, yeah, garugula. I know exactly what that is. Uh, so you I know what that is, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll come down and take a look at it. Uh, okay. I want to ask hey, hey, Caldwell, is that repair robot? It's still not functioning, right? You said it needs an AI still. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Right. It, 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 yeah. So he's like, he's like, um, yes, and I have the calculations for you. We have a sixty-one percent chance of success. Can we improve that anyway? Um, not with my plan. If you have a better plan, but there is a chance that the flames will rise higher based on the amount. Of whatever this particular element is in there, causing the flames to flames to expand or become hotter, even than um, a normal flame, making it capable of breaking and causing the flame to spread. But most likely, that won't happen before the flames consume what's inside and the oxygen depletes. And... Oh yeah, yeah, that's for that. I'm asking about the repair droid. Right, that is something we will deal with as soon as you guys are finished with whatever you're doing. I would need all of you to sort of discuss what we want to do there. You didn't tell me if you wanted this garugula! Don't touch it! I'm gonna we... touch it! <laughs> I think we can get get that later. Well, Let's, not uh... if we blow up the bottom on accident. I'd rather get it out now. That's, he's, he's that's got a point. True. Good that point. is a good point. I'm Damn gonna it. go down and take a look. <laughs> Damn it, he made a good out. point. <laughs> Just outside, without like, you know, out of harm's way type deal. And maybe we'll run, find something else to we can move out as well. Okay. I want to uh, work my way down there slowly but surely because I don't want to actually climb and fall. Yeah. Right. So, is there a path down where you don't have to climb? Yeah, you can totally just go down the stairs. At the end of the oh, sweet. Oh. I'm going to use the stairs then. And just, I'll, while, come, I'll while come with you. Doing, while they're doing that, I continue like going around and searching for other you... garugulas. <laughs> so what are they actually <laughs> called? Because I don't. Garidias. <laughs> they're called Garidias. Garidias. The nickname of Crawler. Okay. <laughs> I actually wrote it down because I figured Sly was going to do that. Uh... <laughs> Uh, Moo, you can make an intelligence, and if you have scientific, sci uh, biology, or any other science uh, information, you could roll to know what that exactly that stands for. Uh, I have space aeronautics. I don't know if that counts. No. What Garugula stands for? I mean, Garugula is nothing. <laughs> it's like arugula, the seasoning, but with garu. All right, beware so the nimble I... garugulas. So, in my general scientific expertise, count them here. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, no, you uh, you know that it's a vehicle. Uh, yeah, you haven't piloted one in recent. Like history. Well, I was like, I did it in training once. Yeah, yeah. You know that it's it's definitely not a um, an extraterrestrial vehicle. It is a terrestrial vehicle. Um, gotcha. So, well, 
poke around at it. Um, did you go down? Can't really yeah, go... So you, you go all the way down to it? Already? Yeah, I mean, if, yeah, I mean, yeah. If, I figure if I'm looking at it, like, oh yeah, this thing, you know. Yeah. So where you guys are, you can see that ahead of you and where this thing is behind you is the big giant pile of black goo <laughs> and the bubble, and then in front of you is just collapsed earth because this is the part that is just completely covered in the ground. Like this one piece of ship is the only thing that seems to survive from this wing. So is this thing pointed at the dirt, or is it pointed like away from the dirt? It's sort of just catawampa. Okay. Well, I can't fly it, you know, to space or anything, but it's a vehicle. I don't know exactly what it does, but we can, I'm sure we could figure it out, you know, press some buttons. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah, shoot the lasers and burrow it out of here, and then we hopefully don't blow the ship up. But if we do, it's your fault. <clears throat> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> God bless. Uh, is there like a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, like a hangar door or anything near it? Or is that where, like, no, that the part that would have been smashed? That would have been hit ahead where the smashed in area is. Right. You're digging, buddy. So, do you guys, I, I guess we could try to take it out through the side of the ship, or maybe through the dirt. I don't know exactly what this thing can dig through or how fast. I mean, we still got time. He has to figure out if our plan of lighting the thing on fire even works, so... He gave you his estimate, 61%. <clears throat> yeah, he, he said something like a 61% um, chance of it succeeding. I mean, if we can find something that we, maybe we could pour in to be like an accelerant, maybe besides just the oxygen, you know, burning, that might help. I don't know. Well, do would a would a bubble contain an explosion? Depends. Um, mm, like I think my my understanding of what he said was that the flames would get hotter than what a bubble could withstand. Uh, yeah. So what about an explosion? So, right? But yes. most likely would have burnt out because the oxygen would be consumed before it completely demolished the bubble itself. Right. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I mean... So if, we could, if we could maybe increase the 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 speed at which, uh, yeah, like an accelerant, get it to burn faster so that... Well, oxygen... I'm sure this uh, the Garugula has some uh, fuel, right? That we can cipher a little bit, you know? Siphon, yeah. Uh... Cipher. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go with no. I'm gonna go with no. If there's fuel, there's probably a fuel tank laying around. You can find it. Uh, there is. Okay, uh, I found the garugula. You're getting very possessive over this thing. There okay? is, in fact, um, next in the wall next to the <laughs> Garidia. A. Uh... <laughs> You're all gonna say garugula. No. I, I know time. Why. Next to the Garidia, there's a. Uh, there's a. Um, and there is a gas pump that is connected to part of the wall. Can I just kind of like point my flashlight at it and be like, <clears throat> Sly. Well, fine. It's everything you want to do. So I grab the gas thingy and I grab the blowtorch, keep it away, like one in one. Blowtorch a little path from the black goo to get the fuck away from me. And then I'd like insert like I would into a, you know, a gas tank, like just the nozzle into the bubble. <laughs> I just start releasing gas in there. Please okay. don't light that yet. How no, much, no, I'm, I'm much, keeping this. How much gas do you release into this? Um, just the tip. Um, I don't know. <laughs> let's see. There let's is, see how. There, what... there is, there is a gauge on the handle that you're using to pump this with. How oh wait, you, boy, you said I can also climb, right? Like I can climb on top of the bubble? I can't nimbly? No. No. You no. can't nimbly anything anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I can't jazz hands up you my... You can like, no. like somehow like hang yourself from the top and just... I don't know, but no. You can't. But the, if, I, if I just shot gas onto it, it would just... Go on the outside of the bubble, right? It wouldn't go no, in. no, no, no. You could, you can go. You yourself, as a living human, with whatever you take in, can pass through the bubble. Yeah, but if I just shot it from the outside of the bubble, it would just go on the outside of the bubble, right? 
Yeah. Like it wouldn't go in. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I just do what I what I said I was doing. I just put it in there, and just start releasing some gas. And how um, much gas? Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm. So scientifically, what's the circumference of the bubble? It's the. <laughs> I don't know the circumference <laughs> of the bubble. The What's the diameter? diameter is 10 feet. So it's, it's 10 I don't feet have pi more. in front of me. I mean, radius, two, two radius pi squares. You know, it's easy stuff. Pi R squared. Um, yeah, there you go. Pi R squared. That's what I said. Um, That's the area of the circle. <laughs> okay. Pi <R>. Meanwhile, <laughs> I'm going to go so, in the Gridia. <laughs> And start trying to turn it on without, you know... It does not turn on. Hopefully him blowing up the hand. Great. It does not turn on. So, so I put... That, you can tell that it definitely down needs some repairs. Oh, it needs repairs. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm putting in... It's 10 feet. And he said that too much heat would blow the bubble away. Uh... Yes. Yeah, so no, he wasn't saying that it would. He's saying it's possible that if you guys continued like that 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 the heat would get so hot that it's possible that it would break down the bubble and let the flames escape. But it was okay. more likely so that it would burn out all the oxygen before that happened by eleven yeah. percent. There's a So scientifically gasoline can only burn at a certain temperature, correct? Gasoline can't burn higher than a certain degree. All fuel sources have like a, 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 a yeah. temperature limit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, I'm, and gasoline isn't crazy high. No, but it is combustible. So, uh, as yeah, I'm yeah. getting out of the broken grid <laughs> and him inserting a nozzle into the bubble and releasing fuel, I'm like, Caldwell, like, message. He had a gritty of fuel to the bubble. Did he already do it? Oh, yeah. I'm already pouring gas in there. Oh. He just I, has to determine uh, how much he's putting in. I just need in. to know how so, much he's putting in. Yeah. Uh, well, for, first, is there a gauge? Is there a gauge uh, saying how much gasoline is left, like total? It just it's just a gauge saying how much I'm putting in, but not how much fuel is in the reserve. Hmm. Like, does it tell me how much fuel is in the reserve as well? Like, we only have sixty total gallons. Oh yeah, no. Uh, you, you there's it's in percentages. Of gallons. Okay, so what's the percentage at right now it's before I even start fueling? Before I start fueling? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and it, but the gauge is actually in gallons, not percentages. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it, dice are gone. It's fine. Um, <laughs> so I, I'll, I'll fill it. Whichever one comes first. To where I can tell that there's a full circle, like a, a full puddle of gas, or five, eight percent of the fuel used in the tank. Eight percent is going to be a lot. Like we don't know, sixty percent could be like hundreds of gallons. Like, like I said, whichever one comes first. Wait, what, how, how, how much again is it that you want to go into there? He wants like a thin puddle just yeah, a over thin the entire puddle all the way like, around. Like, like I don't want yeah. there to be one specific spot that's going to be like oh fire, and then the rest is kind of like eh, slow catch. Okay. I want a full. Okay. So as you start to pump the gas puddle. and it and it comes in as a thin puddle, it does a fraction of percent of the entire thing and you see a thin oh. puddle forming at the bottom well, that's a lot of gas so i i add one extra layer of thin puddle oh god <laughs> no. so now it is a uh, two thin puddle deep above you you do hear a, a yell stop 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 <laughs> go on no so that was a stop slide <laughs> come on i know your hearing's good yeah so I, Caldwell I, I, I reaches stop. over the edge he says you're pouring rocket fuel into a bubble it's gasoline. Is it rocket fuel? Why would we use gasoline to power a, a Garidia? I don't know. What would you use for a Garidia? That is an anti-gravity <laughs> vehicle. And the thrusters themselves. Are you an idiot? So how combustible <laughs> on a scale of one to blow up? Do you Kill us all, you stupid fuck! <laughs> 
I, I mean, it is, it is fun. Like, I'm not sure we need to ask that PD question very often. <laughs> so, what you're saying is don't light it right now. I'm, or light it. I'm, at this point, it might be a mercy if you light it. Don't light it, Sly. He just said to light it, though. No, no, oh no, that, that's not what he meant. That, that is not what he meant, Sly. Just, I'm going to take the just gas nozzle and just very gingerly I'm put it I'm taking your PowerPoint away. <laughs> the one you earned earlier is gone. <laughs> All right. All right. So on a scale of one to shoot my incendiary in there, what do you want me to do? Zero. Zero. Yes, zero. zero. Trick question. Um, zero means shoot it. No. <laughs> no. It's not a circle. As, a as circle, you guys are making all this noise, Dizzy walks up behind Sly and knocks him the fuck out. <laughs> I dodge, motherfucker. No, you don't. I do. <laughs> no, because the whole thing dies like a genius. <laughs> Dropped. He's back. Oh okay. man, I'm so I glad. I rolled a 21. I dodged it. I don't give a shit what he just. <laughs> you tried. dodged it. He's going to 21? use He's going to use all of his power points. <laughs> Cheating! I'm nimble as a bat. <laughs> you, cheater. you are out of fucking control. You're getting knocked unconscious. <laughs> all right, what did you roll? He 21. rolled a 21. Uh, all right, so that's 11, 21. Uh, 22. That's 30. <laughs> I don't believe those rolls. I want to roll, I want to roll 20 of those rolls. Oh my god. Okay. He has to beat my goddamn 21. I me. just rolled those dice, bruh. Alright, so he's getting a plus 6 step. To, uh, to, to what he's doing. So I broke that up as 2d12, and, uh, because his unarmed combat is what? Is a, uh, d10. And his, uh, strength is a d12 plus d2. So, plus six steps. Is it adding another d12? Roll it, baby. Are you going for a chance to hit, or is that damage? That's... (laughs) (laughs) Chance to hit. Well, no. It's damage and chance to hit are the same thing. Remember? Yeah, if you're high enough, he's successful, doing. He's doing. He's, yeah. he's specifically doing non-lethal damage, but God damn it! I don't use this thing. Yeah, I just all, roll. And all of our uh, wounds were soaked up, right? Or not? Yeah. I forgot what we said about that. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot too. So we all of our wounds are gone, or what? What was no, it? No, not all we of lost... them. Well, just one. We, we said two. we had six each. Oh yeah, well how many are gone then? We had six. Um two. Oh damn. Down to four. Yeah, I made them. Okay. You guys are almost full function. Twenty six. Alright, I use my PowerPoints. <laughs> You're not knocking me out, motherfucker. <laughs> Shatter, I'm gonna do what's called a GM fuck you. You are unconscious <laughs> because you were trying to kill everybody. I wasn't gonna do it. You were literally about to throw a fucking. <laughs> oh my god! All right, so now we have rocket fuel oh inside the god. bubble next to Give the rocket fuel fuel tank. tank. Yeah, Nizzy, Nizzy, Nizzy walks over and he just here. You're not unconscious. He just runs into you so hard you fly across the room and drop the nozzle and everything that you're doing. You just like collapse against the wall. Whoa. Fly, uh, free fall already took my, took the nozzle. Yeah, I took the nozzle when, when, okay. Bill, like, so is, he just goes flying across. You go flying across the room. And Mel's like, you need to stop doing stupid shit. Because I've been napping and I heard the smart asshole yelling and just, no, oh, no, just like listening to you down here with one to kill everybody. Just fucking sleep. Yes, Milo. Well, I, I, I nimbly did a backflip and landed <laughs> perfectly into like a Ginyu Force pose. Yeah, so you him. hit the wall, you scuttle around, and you just start going. 
And then you still have to go. Yeah. Your camera's not on, so I don't know. What you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's safe to say that you did a whole bunch of jazz hands. Uh... <laughs> Anyways, yeah, sure, you're fine. Point is, is uh, now you guys have an issue. You just poured yeah. a bunch of fucking <laughs> ridiculous amounts of fuel into a bubble. You have sixty-one percent chance of surviving lighting this thing on fire. Uh, Caldwell says now everybody's gonna die if you light it on fire. Uh, Cal- what if we decrease the amount of oxygen so it burns out faster and it can't get as hot because there won't be enough oxygen? Because of the, the accelerant, it will cause an explosion, a legitimate explosion <laughs> used to propel something from ground level into the atmosphere. Rocket fuel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I caught that the first time. It's so wait, to the be, bubble. It's supposed to be incredibly efficient fuel. So we'd use in a situation in which you set it ablaze. I have a plan. So the bubble itself is an actual sphere, correct? Not a hemisphere, not a half sphere. It stops at any solid object that it, that it like any legitimate solid object and flows so. around it. So... It is a if, semisphere. If it blows up in the sphere, the sphere and everything in it is what gets projected, correct? Projected? No, no, no. Like You would probably destroy the sphere and it would cause an explosion to spread it everywhere. Because the sphere... Uh, okay, let me pull up the rules for how it many... It can only withstand so much damage. It can only withstand so much damage. So, okay. And you would know that. Because you've been trained, I think. All right, so... <laughs> uh, if we, if the uh, sphere, theoretically, were, like, levitating midair, and you did the prison thing, would stuff stay inside of it? Like, would it act as, like, a floor to hold the stuff? Yeah, if the, if the ground itself um, started to deteriorate and break away, then the bubble would continue to form to meet it, as long as it didn't run out of, run out of life. Um, okay, Caldwell, I got a solution. And what's that? You use your magic magnet thingy, move the bubble outside, and then we blow it up. Actually. <laughs> and then we just have to deal with the little leftover that's in here that's not in the bubble. It may take some maneuvering, but yes, that seems like an amazing idea. Let's do it. See? Clock All right. So <laughs> that wasn't you, Sly. Wasn't you? I'm going to roll a D100 to determine how this goes because I'm sick of fucking with you guys on this one thing <laughs> that was supposed to take like at most ten minutes. To be fair, I didn't realize he was actually pouring the gasoline in it, or I would have like tackled him to stop. Him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I know. Thought we were just discussing it. I, I, I was mean, busy looking yeah. at the ship. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh my god. I thought it was just guys, gasoline, guys you know? we're breaking our viewers, okay? Nizarin literally <laughs> says we're giving him a headache. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's, uh... <laughs> yeah. This is what you've done. Uh, sorry. Well, I don't know why I'm apologizing. I have nothing to do with this. <laughs> All right, let's get this magnet thing going, but just be careful about the surrounding black goo. All right. Anyways, let's 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 roll this out. Actually, that's wow. Okay, no, you guys succeed. Um, so he Woo! he's he, yeah. T- I rolled a ninety six percent. Oh, all right, I'll yeah. take that. Uh, yeah. Uh, so he pulls the um, he floats the orb out. Uh, he pulls he pulls it out and puts it out onto the uh onto the exterior, and you guys move it slowly out into the forest. And then you guys set it ablaze, giant catastrophic explosion, everything's gone. Cool. All right, now we just need to clean up. Do we? Does that include the successful cleanup of the leftover residue or whatever was inside? Um, for the sense, uh, for the sake of brevity, let's say yes. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Okay, you All right, so um... ninety-six on the D one hundred. I I'll say yeah. Let's move on with it. <laughs> cool. So, uh, where's our mechanic guy? Can he fix this while Caldwell's doing his, your stupid shit? 
Where is Mechanic guy? The guy Can you with, bring him? The or guy with the two broken arms? <clears throat> His two broken arms? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, can't... He won't be good at mechanic -ing. We can't fix he him? Need, he no. needs time to heal, Sly. Whoa. He's not a robot. Does he have enough intelligence to be able to describe to Max what to do to fix it, or to you? Free right. so Jacob Jenkins walks up to you and he's like, I hear you're calling for me, but uh, I'll get looking at it and I'll find the problem. We can we can work it from there. I did see this thing down here before, so, but, yeah, I'll, I'll work on it. Just don't expect anything concrete anytime soon, all right? And please, yeah. please don't blow us all to hell. That's like, you just got to Sly not to blow us to hell. The rest of us talk, he's talking directly to Sly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you figure out what's wrong with it, and then you can, since you physically can, you can just tell us what we need to do to fix it. Yeah, well, I'll, <coughs> I'll work on that. It'll take a little bit of time. All right. Um, what well, do you guys want to check out the armory? I checked it out last night. There was a lot of stuff I couldn't... Yeah, I, I gave you guys a list of everything that was in there. There is a lot of ammunition. There's a lot of stuff. There is a can I, can I restock on shotgun rounds? Yeah, definitely. How many? How many do I find if I look around? Uh, do I round. roll perception or something? Um, no, they're all in one thing. Once you find one, you're gonna find all of them. There are a hundred twelve gauge shotgun shells. There are a hundred shells. Yeah. How many can I carry? Uh, as much as you think you could physically carry, because honestly, that's a lot of shells. That is a lot of shells, but I have the big giant backpack, so... Yeah. It just comes down to a matter of weight, and with your suit, you could probably carry a pretty significant amount of weight without too much trouble. Can I, can I just take all of them? All of them? I know I don't, I don't need them. Let's take 50. I'll take 50. Okay. Does that sound reasonable? Uh... What is the um, clip size for your shotgun? Uh, I believe it's it's ten. Yeah, so that seems viable. Five clips. Mm -hmm. Um, I look for comms. Oh Go shit, ahead. guys! I just read. I have a my my shotgun has an EMP function on it. No, oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah. I oh, forgot that about nice. that. <laughs> that would have been fun. Yeah. Yeah, mm. you remember when I said that you could use EMPs to get rid of stuff? Yeah, you've got an EMP function. Yeah, I, yeah, I didn't know I had one. I well, now I know. You. Yeah, I forgot. All right, that's fun. Okay, uh, I am really curious about the, I mean, the whole reason we came here. After we poke around the armory and stuff, I get these guys back together, find is them or whatever. Satellite? Is Is the calm, yeah. So what's the state of that? And, you know, let's try to get that working so we can make contact with somebody. I mean, isn't it already working to an extent? Because that's what we picked up to even locate. I think it is yeah. working. Um, well, we need to we need to go scout that out. And... So yeah, the uh, <laughs> the uh, comms array was working pretty well until it got a giant chunk taken out of it by a big ass laser beam. The rail gun. Hmm. Yeah. So, so it's you guys come broken. across the comms array and the entire antenna has been blown off. Mm -hmm. All right. right. So you're we still to trying to broadcast the system, but you definitely need to find some sort of spare antenna to replace that um, before you guys can actually do long-range communication on the planet. I, uh, again, I still... Is there any comms that I find in the armory? Yes, uh, you do find microtransmitters. Uh, there are 12 of them inside. Ooh. Uh, I definitely grab one. Those. Yeah, we all need like we only need one per person, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You, so I grab you one. You place it just under your ear, and it uh, <clears throat> stays inside your suit. You can transmit. So it's a uh, verbal, like I could be like, "Hey guys, I'm over here." Ha ha ha. Yeah. You can hear me. Yep. Okay. Maybe I don't hey. want one. Though. I was about to say I'm forever <laughs> in your ear. <laughs> no. Obviously, you can mute it and you can mute yourself. Oh, okay, way. then yeah, I'll take one too. Yeah. Uh, alrighty. Uh, so you guys uh, get your microtransmitters. Uh, you've got the mechanic working downstairs. By the way, um, you see that Sylvia has taken your mushroom blanket and is taking pieces of it and chucking it into a blender. 
for Bye, my stuff. friend. Yeah. She's making some more shit. Yeah. Uh, I want to. What's Caldwell working on? Caldwell like a... is sitting there um, after his ordeal of having to carry this entire thing out and explode it. Uh, he is he is sitting there uh, next to the robot, looking expectant. Is he? Oh, uh, what he happened to the black he goat? To talk to us. <clears throat> what happened to the black goat? I thought he was researching that too. The sample. Well, well there, he was researching that for the for the explosion. No. Oh. Okay, I thought we were figuring out ways to. Kill no, he stuff. literally just found out how flammable it was, how how it expanded, okay. how much. All right, cool. So, kind of thing. so last night, remember I said that there were some things we needed to take care of in the morning. Black goo was number one. That's finished. Okay. However, during the fight, I broke my thermal scope, and there's no replacements here. In some of your downtime, if you have a chance and have an idea for coming up with a solution, I'm more than open to suggestions. Replacing the optics might be hard, but we might be able to salvage something from one of the other weapons. Uh, Fair enough. I did see uh, that there were a couple of other weapons in there, uh, a couple of ARs. Should be simple enough to take their optics, switch the lenses, but you might not have the range you once had. As long as I can still aim somewhat. Okay. Um, we'll get to work and on that. third would be, what do you need related to this robot? What's Is there anything here we should be looking for to help it get That's up? That's or... what I've been wanting to talk to you all about. Creating an AI is a very difficult process. Um, without a very large, large computer, it is nearly impossible to create the intelligence necessary to operate this droid. Is anything other than a give command, it does sort of function, which would be well, very useless to us in this particular set of circumstances. It would Carla, be so... isn't this isn't this ship have an AI itself? Like the ship itself has AI? No, the Prophet never had an AI. It was always man controlled. Yes, there were AI helpers that you <clears> saw. <throat> People would give you directions around the ship. Um, basically they were just holograms to just help make life easier. But as far as an AI that controlled the ship, it was all manually controlled because of fears of AI. The fact of the matter is, is that there's no good way to do this, but I have an idea. And that is? Okay. We use the ring. Like... That means the ring is used up, or use a portion of the ring you've deciphered? From what I can tell, it feeds off of energy. I'm not sure exactly where this energy comes from, but it seems that it would come from pretty much any power source, like your suit, or that crystal we found, or potentially even just the life force of anything that it can touch. Fact of the matter is, when I used it on Sly, I found a particular set of runes that seemed to come to a meaning that was similar to imprisonment or isolation. Basically, it takes your mind and it isolates it in one spot, but opens it up to other realms. With this, it would make it so that your mind was basically broadcasting and I would be able to pick up on that and I could copy a mind down and create an artificial intelligence by that. Well, clearly, Freefall's mind is the one that should be taken. Well, that's up to you. This robot can be useful in many ways. Yes, they were made specifically for engineering purposes, but they are robots, and outfitting them for war was always intended to begin with. So, frankly, any one of us could be used for it. The question is just who would we want to use? Well, there ain't shit going on top of my head or near my face, so... Yes, that's become very clear. Mm -hmm. And doing your mind's probably out of the question due to you have to operate the ring to do it. Well, yes, that is unfortunate. It would have been very fantastic to have somebody of my caliber. <clears throat> so maybe, I mean, do, what, do we want a battle bot or do we want something that can start fixing shit while we're battling? 
or do we want a medic bot? Or an engineer with working arms bot. There's lots of potential ideas that we can have here, but um, frankly, um, it's up to you. I know that it would be weird. Earlier, Sly was experimenting with mushrooms, and I felt my mind be invaded, and it was terrifying. I wouldn't ask I'll any volunteer. of you to do it. Well, Don't do his tribute. <laughs> Thank you, Attica. <laughs> But it's more terrifying than you think it is. So before you say that. Would it be possible to mix and match a little bit? Or is it one copy and that's it? The ring will form itself around one mind, isolate it, and then begin to broadcast it. I'm not sure exactly what this wavelength is, but I've been able to pick up on it before. So I don't know if it could grab anybody else. I, I frankly, I, I don't know. So again, basically, it's do we feel inadequate in fighting, or do we feel like we need more help assisting us in fighting? In terms, I think of we need to take into robots. account people's willingness to subject themselves to this. I don't want any of my patients <laughs> being put in a situation they are not comfortable with. I mean, so, I'm in. I'm sure Milo didn't care. Hey, fuck you, man! I'd do it. That's what I'm saying. Sure, well, <laughs> I mean, uh, what? If we want an engineering mind, I mean, it's a little inhumane, but I don't give a shit. Uh, I don't know him. We could say Jenkins, and if he says no, we just say you have no arms. You're not fighting it. I'm sorry. It's usually what you're not doing, doing that. You want to take an innocent civilian? Well, not civilian, obviously, engineer. It will will it kill him? No, I don't. You're not subjecting any of my patients to something like this without their it consent. It didn't kill you, no. Well, I was also hyped up on mushrooms, and I'm sly, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sly. I was expecting I'm nimble. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm nimble. Even my, my mind, mind is nimble. nimble. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Gotcha, that ring. Well, it's, like I said, it's up to you. Um, I, personally, I think it would be a good idea um, to try to keep one of the more intelligent fellows into this, but a warrior bot wouldn't be a bad day, idea either. Well, hold on. Can you, um, since Freefall has, I guess, base understanding of the, the knowledge, can he work? The, can you teach There's him to work no the ring way. and we multiply your mind? I do not believe that there is a single person here that would be able to operate the programming of an artificial intelligence. Unless you specifically have free fall, some sort of in knowledge in this. No, model. no, I'm not. I might get lucky and piece it together, but chances aren't good. We really probably only have one shot at this. As far as I can I tell, think... currently the ring is charged fully charged, which means it won't try to sap anything from any person we put it on. Recharging it, well... Takes more time. Matter. I mean, I, I, if we want a smart one, I'm in. I'll do it. Uh, or if we want one that can do it, you know, some medical stuff, then be Annika. Either way, I think we get something beneficial. Clearly, we are the two smartest people here, other than Caldwell. Well, hey, the I'll, is I'll, re I'll resent smart. that. I think I'd be good for this. You can resent that it all Milo. Hmm. I can't tell who that is. Is that Milo? That's Milo, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, the botanist is very intellectual as well, but I don't need someone chasing does samples. It, who's well, hold on, does it no. does it imitate personality or just intelligence? It's hard to say. This is not something that's been done before. There's no exact science to this. I'm literally going to take a base program for an artificial intelligence and map it to the mental reactions that are coming from the ring and basically be whatever fair, you broadcast i'm probably the only one available because if something goes wrong i'd rather the doctor be the one trying to keep me alive versus the other way around that is fair well we could also still ask jenkins if he's okay for it 
Do you really want somebody that we won't even show we could trust recently to be the yeah. face for? Again, or... it will. I mean, okay. Yeah. Because since we don't know if it does personalities, and yeah, you're right, but if it doesn't do personalities, then it's something we can program. I'm not sure what it'll do, but I think we should give it a chance. I'm in. Let's do it. All right. Okay. Well. Let's get this started. Don't die. I'm, I'm well. gonna pop my other pill before you put that thing on my head. So you're gonna give off Are a weird really? ass fucking projection. You're gonna pop the pill. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna give a weird ass fucking projection. <laughs> God damn it! This. All right. You pop the this pill. This robot's gonna have psycho psycho powers now. Okay, so you pop the pill. Uh, you sit down in the chair. Uh, make me a stealth check to see if anybody else notices you popping the pill. Oh, f everybody's gonna notice me popping the pill. Oh, I for sure will. I don't have. I don't it's, have it's stuff. Percep it's I perception. Have... So that's agility. Perception. What's just for the them? Agility? It, yeah, yeah. It's just agility if you don't have covert or stealth. I feel uh, like since that kind of stuff is part of my repertoire. No, they all notice. Oh, yeah, we all see that shit. Yes, you, they all see that you pop the pill, and they're just like. Hey, if I die, I'm dying in a good mood. Yeah. Yeah, except uh, it so projects what your brain moment, sees. Yeah, but, okay. uh, Caldwell sees you pop the pill, and he's like, and you see like a little smile crawl across his face. <laughs> And he's like, all right, then let's proceed. And then you see him take the ring and he starts fiddling with it. And you see he takes three different runes and he lights them up around the band. And then the whole thing shifts and spreads out and he holds his hands around it. And it's just like parted pieces of metal hovering in a circle. And then he put it, puts it over your head and it claps in on your head. He's like... This is going to be very interesting. Let's see I what agree. happens. And that's where we're going to take a break. So, he puts the ring on your head. And it activates. And the two of you look on to him. Nizzy is, Milo is there as well. And he looks on to him. And at first you just start to see in cool colors. As the drugs start to take effect. And then your mind wanders. And you guys see as his eyes open wide and they glow a bright blue color. Mood man. Yeah. Would you like this to be private or do you want them to hear it as well? Yeah, let's, let's, we'll go just let everyone hear it. Just kind of because I figure if I'm doing this, they're going to be like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. <laughs> All right. You open your eyes and you're in a room. There's pale blue light emanating from somewhere below you, but it feels like it's coming from nowhere. And you're aware that you are standing on something hard, it's a surface maybe like stone, and around you there are four statues. All right. These statues are not of humans. They are tall, they are lanky, they are alien. One of them is glowing. Does it's it resemble light. the statues that were in the cave before it got destroyed? It does. Alright, so at least they're, they're familiar. Um, I guess I will approach the glowing one slowly, you know, and I'm still not really sure what the f is going on, so... Alright. So you start to uh, approach the glowing one, and um, as you approach it, you hear whispering in your ear, and the whispering is unintelligible. It just sounds like, but it's not terrifying whispering like no, it's we just heard. okay. It almost sounds like ambient sound. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep moving closer, and I think I'll, I'm gonna verbally state like I don't understand. And then in your mind you hear, "Hello, Leo, 
Okay, that I do understand, and you know my name. And are we seeing this as a projection, or we do not? You guys don't see, see anything. I was just giving him the option as player. Yeah. It's a secret from you. So we just see his eyes blue, and he's just like this. Yep. This is something that instead of me recapping all of it later, because you'll be like, "What happened?" Yeah. I'm sharing it without sharing it. Right. Later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. The statue moves. It becomes. I'm animated. gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna freeze. Like wherever I'm, how close I'm, just gonna be like, okay. The entire statue itself is probably about 20 feet tall. And you see as the hands come down with three fingers and they plant next to you on either side and this face gets close. There's no nose. It just looks like God, personal space isn't of, a thing with you guys. You just see you just see that there are just these blank glowing eyes in this blue ethereal statue that moves down to you and looks close into your face. It says I'm surprised someone else has come here. What do you seek, Leo uh, Burns? Someone else? Yeah. Um, uh, I don't really know. It's a little uh, unexpected, shall I say. Well then. Can I start with just, who are you? You know me, but I feel that this is a little one-sided at the moment. My name is Irasma. Do you have a nickname? <laughs> the High Mind. That'll work. Where am I? You are in the psionic sphere. And that is? It is another plane in which we, those who have no longer been bound by our bodies exist still here oh do you seek but my I'm... assistance probably let me see and he touches you on the head and the past 30 minutes of discussion just fly through your mind and he's like ah you want to stick me inside of a machine I see. Very well. You, you're you okay with that? Having a body again to fight the scourge of the nobles seems like a good cause. I will the, do such. Wait. Before you can say anything uh, else, you are exited from the experience. And your oh, eyes pulse shit. back. And you see Caldwell is sitting there just typing away. And you see like like a screen is like has these red flashing lights on it. And and then he just like just like pulls 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 and he's just like ah, and then you see that there's like these sparks fly and the entire thing sets on fire, and he's like holy shit. And you told you not to kill him. Well, mood, you come back to your senses. All right. Um. Caldwell, is there something in, like, code-wise, whatever, inside the, the, the robot? Or am I, am I, I just want to know if I'm crazy or not first before I, yeah. The symbols are the same as the alien race. They're appearing all oh. over the place within this thing. Gotcha. I, um, I just let them, I tried to guide words that seemed right into the correct areas. Uh, uh, good, probably a good idea, because that's not me. No, I didn't think it would be. I was quite excited. That's, that's, to everyone else, that's the, the high mind, right? That's what you call them? Yeah, by the way, the robot has already stood up. And is <laughs> walking across the room and is looking out the window. He... Uh, hey, the uh, robot buddy. What you looking at? He, so this robot's looking out the window with its, like, four mechanical arms dangling. And it's just like, I am looking out the window. It's probably Great. been a while it since he's had a body. Intelligence. Yes. So, uh, you still high mood? Free phone? You still... Uh, am I? No. 
Okay. Oh wow, you sobered up quick. <laughs> well, I was like, I don't know how like how long that was. So I was like, oh, I know. No, it like, it happened in a matter of probably a minute. The entire thing probably only took about a minute, and you are no uh, longer have any sort of anything in your system. That, nope, I feel clean. So you, we have a high robot now. The robot uh, turns yeah, and looks at you, accurate. and the machine's eyes themselves have a blue tint to them, even though they're what mechanical. What the fuck? And it looks at you, <laughs> and it's like, fly. Robot. I am I R D. You're a nerd? I. You're nerdy. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> and he turns and walks back to the window. Nice to meet you too. He's just staring at me. Are sure we wanted to make an AI, right? Like we wanted it to have its own intelligence? Oh, that it has its own intelligence. I'm willing to bet on that. What did what did you see? And I guess you Yeah, we didn't count but basically the whole thing. It's like it's one of the things that made all the stuff that we've been playing with. The good so stuff. You said it bad stuff. But you said it didn't have It, it said ahead. something about noble? The nobles? The nubles? The gerbils? I'm as... <laughs> 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 the gerbils! Yeah, the gerbils! God damn you, gerbils! If I had to make a guess, that was I'm gonna say that was their name for the black shit, but not just the puddles, like the, the, the big scary one. Uh, the robot turns around and says, Nobles. The no, no, no pools, no, no pools, no bulls, no, no bulls. It is a word we use in your language to describe someone of high birth. <laughs> and you were fighting the nobles. Are you not high birth? We are beyond high birth, but we were the ones who created them, and it was our greatest folly. So you're to blame. For fucking creepy black soul as fuck getting into my brain. Yes, in a way, we, 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 we. And as Come the out! start to blink out of blue and blue and blue, and then it goes back to normal. And then it's just standing there. It's like, insert command. No, so it went from blue to like regular, just. Robot metallic ass. robot ass. You broke it, Sly. You broke it. It's still working. Robot, you there? Yes. Input command. Are you. Can you think? Yes. Input command. <laughs> I think it's back to basic code. Caldwell, does it still have the, the, the symbols for its code of all the weird stuff, or...? It's still what? there, it's just dormant. Can robots it... take mushrooms? Sometimes I think you should probably just refrain from asking questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you I know what, Caldwell? I usually hate you, but touche. In this instance, so you it only can do like limited sentientness. I think maybe it just didn't want to talk to Sly anymore. Uh, I was trying to be nice on that, but okay. <laughs> it's hard to say what exactly happened here. Honestly, just looking at it, it's very confusing. The code is still there. It's still half this language, half the alien language. I keep seeing the word for. The rune for spirit, and the, the, the rune for, for self appearing often and often again. Granted, these are the only ones I was able to glean um, from the ring. Uh, learning the rest of this would take probably more time than I have to find out and give you a proper explanation this century. What about next century? 
I'll give you a call. <laughs> Fair enough. You think we'll be friends then? <laughs> You're not friends with anyone, Sly. So yeah, the robot the robot just stands there catatonic, uh, waiting commands. Uh, robot, wait, it has your mind free flow, so we can't fix shit. Um, can we tell it to fix uh, or to help? Um, it can Jenkins? fix some shit. Or does it have? Is it does it have like his base stats when it comes to fixing shit, or does it have any sort of extra because it is a robot or anything like that? That is what we call meta information. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> Um, robot, do you think you could, um, fix, do you think you could listen to Jenkins and he tells you what to do to fix the Garugula? Garugula. I do not know designation Garugula. <laughs> you mean Garidia. Designation Garidia. Yeah, that thing, Garugula. Anti-gravity transportation vehicle. That's yes. the one. Of course I can help with this. Well, before I tell, is everybody cool with that? Caldwell, are you cool with that? Designation set to repair. Hold well, on. fuck me. Wait, 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 wait. Before you repair that, can you repair the antenna array first? Antenna array. Comms, antenna, antenna, array. Yes. Designation to we repair. We need that first. Correct. Executing repair. And you see this thing go from just standing there like a normal person to like skittering across the floor like a fucking cockroach <laughs> heading off towards the uh, the antenna array. The uh, comms array. Alright, well hopefully that'll get us some contact first and then we can work on the vehicle. As mm -hmm. much as I prefer uh, have the vehicle first. Okay. Yeah, because I mean, the way I view it, it depends on the duration of time. If it's a quick fix for the vehicle, we could have got the vehicle fixed. We could have explored while it's doing the antenna. But now we're kind of waiting on the antenna and then waiting on the car. It's just missing the antenna, though. It's not, the rest of it's not damaged. It's just a part damaged. So it's just a part replacement? It's not, okay. I mean, that's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm banking on. Well, um, once we get the antenna up and running or the comms up and running, it might take some time for people to see and respond to our signal anyway. So we can use that time to explore in the vehicle. Assuming Jenkins has it up and running by then. Either way is fine. Fact of the matter is we have a functional robot, although it seems to be an albeit um, semi-alien robot that uh, will go in and out of whatever. I'm really looking forward to examining how this all works. Uh, that said, um, Leo, if you would like to have a discussion later, like I said, I have sort of figured out something about this, and I know you will be very interested to find out more about the ring. Hmm. Well, that should be a fun discussion. Oh, is it candlelight dinner? Am I not invited, Caldwell? No, oh, you're definitely welcome to join, Leo. Uh, no, sorry, Sly. I just don't think that you'll actually understand anything that we're saying. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe I'll take another mushroom pill. So what is the botanist doing right now? The botanist is currently making mushroom pills. <laughs> Following that um, note, speaking of it, <laughs> do you still have the sample, the, the ooze sample, oh! or did it all get like destroyed? What? 100. No, uh, I rolled a d20 to determine how many pills you guys got from that blanket, and I rolled a legit d20. I rolled a legit okay. nice d20. So now she had 13 left no. before that? No, 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 no. She did not. She had 23 pills. And now she's up to 43 pills. Oh my oh. Jesus. Yeah. Is she still keeping them in her lock and key box or whatever? Yeah. Yeah. She's keeping control of that shit. She's got it locked on tight. <laughs> well, I, go up, I go up to her. I'm like, I always forget her name. What's her name? Sylvia. Susan. Sylvia. 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 
<laughs> Schneider renames every single okay. thing Here in we the go. game. Her name is Sylvia Helix. Sylvia Helix. 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 All right. Uh, hey, Sufi. Um, <laughs> I didn't say Siri. You called her like, Siffy? <laughs> <laughs> Did your phone see her? <laughs> yeah, his phone's like, hey, what? <laughs> yeah, that's how far off you were. Right. Your phone reacted. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, uh, Sylvia, seeing as you gave me two pills, I only really got one because I gave my other one to Annika to save her life because I'm a good guy. Um, think uh, I can get a resupply directly next to you. Uh, my Lois sitting there is like, I'd like to try some pills too. Oh, he hasn't tried oh. any yet, he has not. Max Aww. hears pills and he's like, Those seem really cool. I mean, oh, screw well. it. we're all sitting here talking about pills. Do we all get our a daily supply of two and we can see what the fuck happens with uh, Max and uh, Sylvia? My is taken aback by all the people standing there, like, <laughs> Where are my pills? She's <laughs> like, and she's just like, I think I may have made a mistake. <laughs> no, I, like, I, think, I don't I, think I it's like the end. I think, I just, think, yeah, I think maybe I need to receive something in order to give out pills because. They seem to be a hot commodity. <laughs> I'm gonna like kind of wedge in there between Fly and the other B and Sylvia, and you know, kind of like keep some distance from the grabby grabby. So I think if you want pills, you should bring me something interesting. I got you the sample. No, you got Caldwell a sample, which he burned to fuck. <laughs> Wait, you don't have any more sample. God damn it, Caldwell! You could have burned half of it. If Fucking you want genius. to bring me something interesting, maybe I'll exchange them for pills. But otherwise, you can politely go fuck yourself. <laughs> if you try How to take them from uh... me, I'll swallow all of them. <laughs> That's probably not a good I like, idea. I like whisper and no well, my... my entire world was destroyed recently, so fuck it. No, no, I'm not. I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm just saying probably not a good idea. It's really not a good idea. I, I nudge him like, I'll trade you uh, this comm set I got. There's only one left. There were 12. There's only one left. I saw, so while, I saw the pack of them while you were all sleeping. <laughs> there were so 12. While, while he's trying to barter, I would like to go down <laughs> one level on the ship, like to the, the next level down, and just kind of look around. And while I'm doing that, that's going to happen. 18? Yeah. Okay. Add three. So, um, guessing that's a no. Um, for the thing that I was going to get anyways, go fuck yourself, Sly. Sly, if you want to bring me something actually interesting, please do. And I will definitely give you these pills. The more interesting it is, the more I'll give you. Sounds fair? Well, what, uh... Milo. What's on your, what's, what's on your list of... And he's like, I really want to try some pills. I haven't gotten my first set of pills. Everybody else got pills. Can I have a pill? And she's like, okay, sweetie, here's one for you. God damn it. Just was I like, close enough to hear that as right I'm walking the away? Right, fuck or in front of you, like just like gives him. A <laughs> I'm like fighting back the urge to. Milo, her. being Milo, immediately tosses back the pill. Expected. And he just sort of stands there, like, I thought this was supposed to do something. This isn't fun at all. This isn't. Oh. And just keeps making noise. That exact noise. <laughs> I just sort of leans out like, oh. Hey, uh. Hey, Milo. Hands in front of his face. You okay, buddy? I grab a flashlight. Hello? <laughs> hey. 
shine the flashlight back and forth over his eyes. I try, I try to knock your hand away. He looks at you and he's like, I nimbly dodge it. I know how to get into that lockbox that you got from the third floor of this here establishment. <laughs> Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. Did I find a lockbox? You did. You had <laughs> a lockbox on the third floor. Where the bunks oh, yeah. were. Remember the bunks? Yeah, the that's floor? right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Um. So, Milo, let's uh, let's take a trip upstairs, shall we? Or you can just tell me. One or the other. Oh no, you could just bring it down here for me. I think I'm just gonna stand here. If that's all right. How do you know I found a log box, first of all? Because I can see it. Like right now? Like you can fit you what? I can see I can it. I can hear it. I'm the, I'm the only one uh, kind of questioning what's going on here. I need tic tacs. Oh, no, there's Milo. He's back. Okay. <laughs> He's like, so I, I, I you go, can tell that Milo is freaking out by this experience. He's just like... Uh, do you want to go to the box? Bring me the box. Uh, Sly, go uh, get the box. Uh, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll go get the box. So I go up, and then I just say... Shut up, Slack! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> so I, I, I grab the chat, uh, the, the lockbox, I'm walking down, I'm like, Hello. Yes. What do you think you're up? They put down the hippie signs. Oh, shit! Come, Come back here. down with the lockbox. Come here. Bring me the box. He looks at the box. And you can tell that the box is one of those digitally locked boxes. And he just looks at it. And you see for a second that he's staring at it. And he stares at it for like a good 30 seconds. And then he just starts tapping on the screen. And the box opens. All right. I look into the box. I have to What's, in what's in the, the box? box <laughs> what's in the box? There ah, are cartridges inside the box. There is a tube. Several tubes in each cartridge, making a total of 20. Simeon, you recognize these as nano syringes. Oh, yay. I was, to say, I was like, they look seem more like medi medical bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, 20, I wanna... 20 nano syringes. I put those in my med kit. Um, well, I mean, that's... 28. Milo then, like, tur quirks his head. And he's like, I hear something. What? Breathing. Labored breathing. Who's... Someone's injured. Where? One, one, one evil thing, or is this a good breathing or a bad breathing? It's that way. He's hurt. Wait, wait, which way is he pointing? Oh, like, is he pointing? He's pointing out. He's he's inside the ship, so he's just pointing. Technically, towards like the the crash section of the ship. Is he pointing? Will, um, he's pointing go... up and out, like. Like he's pointing past the ship. Do you outside the ship? How okay. far, Milo? Do you know? <clears throat> it's got to be at least a mile, maybe more. It's hard to tell. This is all very strange. All right. Um, well, I believe it based off of what I've experienced of what he's been doing. Uh, Max, you feel like going for a quick covert jog? Max has a pill almost in his mouth. He's like, what? <laughs> Where are you taking the pill? Well, actually... You know what? Go ahead. 
Have, have I found anything down a floor? Like, just in that floor? No, if I'm going somewhere, I don't want to be under the influence of you guys' crazy shit. He puts it in his thing. Uh, what would you say, uh, Mood? I was asking if I had found anything, because if not, I would have walked back up, but on the, the floor right below. Oh, where you're no. Literally, the only thing down there that was of interest was the pump um, service station for the uh, Gridia and the Gridia. Okay, so is there one more floor below that then on no. this crash site? No, there's not three. Oh, um, I thought there were four. So for there's That's three. fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. But uh, so before I love, there is a mess hall you. and bunks where you guys can sleep. Right. Yeah, not, for, for some reason, I'm there. Say, well, hey, uh, Milo, before Max and I go, um, can you hear or feel or see anything else here, like another ship, another vehicle, another area that we haven't seen yet? There's there's stuff everywhere, man. It's Oh, I could feel insects moving. No, I could see the vibrations of the earth. Also, I know your social security number. <laughs> I'm going to have to ask you to stop looking into my butt wallet and knowing my social security number. Please. Okay. <laughs> but I no, seriously, you like don't. I'm going to vomit. Okay. Um, you just point Why do down you there. You guys keep taking these pills that look like fun. Uh, well... point, point, point your mouth towards the hole. Buddy. Yeah, he walks outside and he throws up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's not for everybody, Milo. She's like, it's <laughs> for everybody. <laughs> Other than blah. So you guys, I think it's worse for him because he's getting a sensory overload. Like, I don't know. I just saw blue. I Yeah, <laughs> I just saw blue. You just saw blue, and you... Yeah, yeah, you just saw blue. Uh-huh. And you could... <laughs> and free fall, you potentially either see the future or I don't you know. know I yeah, you know I freaked out when I looked yeah, at Yeah, I don't know. You saw something come at you that didn't come at you that might have been foretelling. I don't know. And me, I have my stuff. Yeah, so... Uh, so Caldwell I don't think any of that's like, sensory. I have been very interested to see what this thing, how this thing would affect all of us. It's very interesting. Have you tried any Caldwell? No, I haven't. Because I'm afraid of what would happen. Fair oh, enough. you're afraid your too... brain would just explode because of its intellect? Would you like me to find out? Not right now. We have a rescue mission to go on, apparently. A rescue well, mission for I, I'm saying me and Max should check it out first, since we're I'm a quickest. medic. What if he's injured? Well, then we come back and say he's injured, and then we and all And then I have to go group. back out there anyway? It's more than We're not back hour. out there. You go out there the first time. Me so and Max would go Milo back is out retching. There. He's like, Bleh. go together. It's a better choice. There's stuff out there. <laughs> <laughs> and I think he needs to take a break real quick, anyways. Yeah, me and Max would it'll take us like, wait, he said one mile. It'll take us seven minutes to jog there and back. There and back in seven minutes? I don't think so. It's going to take you that long. Um, the normal you. human being can take a mile in seven <laughs> minutes. I'm abnormal. I'm nimble. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Max that has been the whole run. So. <laughs> if we're... The whole run. Just jazz hands. Just... We're going together. Okay, no. Uh... We get it. Okay. It's just it, the, the oh, reason sorry. I want to go. Every nimble is Max... jazz hands now. The the reason I want me and Max to go out is because we don't know if there's potential danger out there, and we'd rather see it Did first. Did Milo just say there was? Milo said there's, there's something out there. He but... said there's something injured out there. It doesn't say from what injured it, and that it's still getting attacked or anything. So we, to be safe, I'd rather just look at it, see what's going on, I... and then come back and say, hey, let's go. It's a mile. I appreciate like, that, but if somebody out there is injured, and if you guys might run into some danger on the way, then we should all be together to deal with it. That seems like a sound plan to me. It seems like it's always a good idea to keep 
fairly balanced team together. Obviously, it seems like Milo has reached his... He's a little... Yeah. So, I, I would I... say it would be a good idea to bring you all together with Max. Sounds good? Yes. I pick up my shotgun and walk out. All right. In the, me in the meanwhile, I believe it would be a very good <laughs> idea for us to start setting up this place as camp. Sylvia? And she's like, already on it. And you see her, and she has a seed in her hand. No. She's... So are know. you planting that? that I'm just, just going to seal the ship and pump it full of oxygen. Basically, the idea is that she's going to try to take the seed from that you guys took from your previous base and uh, oxygenate the ship. But she's not planting it. Like, oh, she's putting it in the ground. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, she's trying to make a, another life tree. You guys made a hole that went down to earth in the bottom of the ship. I'm not against it. All right. Um, I would like to grab... Uh, what, what's the, so you guys aren't like operating pistol? from inside of a 10-foot s- <laughs> circle right, right, right. and yeah, then walking yeah, out. Because yeah. Yeah. before we, you guys we... have had to put your helmets on. I haven't made you say expressly you did it because only an insane person wouldn't. But you've been yeah. walking in and out of this 10-foot circle, putting your helmet on and then walking out. I want to grab like a pistol or something, like short range, and... Like two clips for it. Okay, there's I don't care a which Phoenix one. and there are two plugs. If you want to take that, do you want to take incendiary or regular? Uh, like one set of each. One set of each. Okay, cool. So there's a, uh, I believe, five of each left. So yeah, you, that's uh, six bullets, each one. So that's a total of twelve bullets. Six incendiary, six regular, for a Phoenix. Uh, I also. Grab a. Hmm. Nah. I don't like guns. I'm good. I just I started heading out, following Annika because she's already stormed off. Yeah. Yes, as, I, I as, I, as I follow out, I need a scope still. Just maybe if you get the chance, and just kind of catch up and keep going. Oh yeah, he's still got to work on that. He's been working on the other shit this whole time. He hasn't. Right, but everything else looks pretty much working, so I'm just like, yeah, 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 as I'm leaving. Yeah, right. Okay, uh, so you guys head out into the forest, and I think that is a good place to stop it for tonight.